Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be exploring Leonardo's AI's Prompt Magic version 3. I remember when I made a video on Prompt Magic version 2. I also remember when I made a video on Alchemy. And here we are with Prompt Magic version 3. And I think version 3 was actually released due to the new release within Stable Diffusion. I think it's called Stable Diffusion XL or something like that. Uh, I figured I'd make a video on this because everybody watching this is probably doing or close to doing some sort of print on demand or making use of some sort of your images. By the way, if you don't make money off of your images, I highly recommend you check out a lot of my videos on this channel. We have close to a thousand videos now on this YouTube channel, and uh, we're having a lot of fun, you know, making some money online, posting these designs, creating our own websites, and making it happen. I'm going to make future videos showing you guys how to create websites, how to actually put your products on websites, whether it be digital or physical. I'll show you how to promote different things. But today, like I said, we're talking about Leonardo AI. And like I said, there's a whole lot of content on the channel that I think you're going to enjoy. And let's get into it. Um, Prop Magic version 3 is definitely, definitely better. And when I say better, I just mean overall, it's doing really good. Um, here are some creations you guys can kind of see. They're really, really cool. And I think when I speak for everybody who uses uh, Leonardo AI or just stable diffusion in general, I think I could speak for the majority when I say that sometimes your designs don't come out the way you necessarily envision them to be um, with stable diffusion. And I actually tend to see a better, more accurate creation or generation with Midjourney. And Midjourney, I think, understands what I'm looking for more. Uh, when I create a, a generation, but I also think Stable Diffusion is more useful, honestly. Um, and I think Stable Diffusion has a little bit ways to go in terms of understanding and interpreting uh, the need of the of the designer. But uh, in this case, or the prompter rather, in this case, Prompt Magic version three is getting better and better. I mean, it's just making Stable Diffusion much better. And uh, you could see, like I said, the different generations I have here. And something that I like to do with Leonardo AI is I like to see some of the other creations. And you could see here on the home feed, they're very inspiring, very inspiring, very cool, um, and very creative. And speaking of creations, you guys know Fantasy Labs uh, will be adding a lot of our new creations there. Every 28th, we drop a new drop on Fantasy Labs. We have well over 2,500 total assets on there that you could use for print on demand and all kinds of stuff. Now, I'm not trying to promote it, but I'm just saying for anybody that doesn't have the time to create, or maybe you don't have enough credits, sign up to Fantasy Labs. You'll go ahead and get everything that I create. So it's really cool. There's a lot of things that you could do. And once again, what I noticed specifically is that there's more understanding from a perspective of the AI, right? So let's go ahead and create this. Let's go ahead and remix this. We could see that this was made with Alchemy, a pipeline, Alchemy pipeline with Prompt Magic version three. And I want to show you the difference with how things look without Prompt Magic and how they look with Prompt Magic. All right. So we're recreating that prompt, right? Uh, it says vector t-shirt art, ready to print colorful graffiti illustration of a Halloween pumpkin. Cute, action shot, vibrant color, punk, high detail, and white background. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these settings here. We have prompt magic set to 0.55. We have our contrast boost is set to 0.5 and a resonance at 15. And then, of course, prompt magic version th uh, 3 and alchemy is on. You could see our different uh, settings here for our width and our height at 512 by 768. And it's off to the races. Let's go ahead and create. So to be clear, this generation here for two images costs 16 tokens. Um, not the worst thing in the world, but could be a little bit hefty. Um, if you're not using uh, Prompt Magic, if you're not using Alchemy, it gets cut by like, I think by like four. So there's a big difference there. And you could kind of see this design. This design looks pretty cool. I could put this on a t-shirt and make money off of it for sure. Um... And I think also the avenue where I do that makes a big difference, right? So if I put it on my own website, 
because of the niche that my website has and the style my website has, I might not necessarily make as much as if I put this on a Society6, for example, and I'm more specific with how I tag on Society6. I can also, this is a little kind of like a, an idea, or and I could share more of these ideas in future videos, but imagine you create variations of these designs and you turn them into a package and you sell them on Etsy, for example. You could do that as well. So there's a lot of things you can do here uh, when it comes down to creating these images. I think sometimes we just need a little bit of idea. So instead of, uh, let's see here, we have Halloween pumpkin. I'm going to write Jack O Lantern and see what it does, right? Jack O Lantern. And let's go ahead. And let's make sure the spelling is correct, of course, and hit generate. And let's see what makes a difference. Now, with these prompts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn alchemy off and see what it can create with alchemy off. And that, I think, will be create will create a cr pretty cool uh, experiment for us here live. While we're waiting for this gener... Okay, there you go. It created something even cooler. I think this is really cool. I think this is really cool. Once again, I think these designs would go good on something like a Society6, a Zazzle. Uh, I don't know about Zazzle. I think it just depends on the creative aspect of a Zazzle, but um, I definitely think it will work well on a Redbubble and a T Public for sure, um, and Society6 for sure, and a few others. Um, but I don't think it will do as well on a Zazzle. I think it just depends on the situation that you're going to use it in Zazzle. Um, but I think it's really, really cool overall. And of course, there's some small things you can fix. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make these fixes, like these small things that you could fix, I have a full tutorial on that where I go in deep and I show you how to actually fix the imperfections. And it's actually really easy and anybody could do it. You don't need to have some sort of art skill or even technical skill. So I'll leave that link in the description and I'll title it how to fix AI art. I'll leave that link in the description. So as promised, let's go ahead and turn alchemy off. And notice here, when I turn alchemy off, prompt magic immediately goes to version two. And it says here that prompt magic version three can only be used with alchemy, right? So let's go ahead and with this example, let's go ahead and hit generate here. And this is with prompt magic version two. So we can kind of see the difference between prompt magic plus alchemy and then we could see none of that essentially just prompt magic version 2 and we could see how much it leveled up and you can actually d see here the huge difference in skill level of art right so this is the newer the better version and this is the less better version are these designs cool they're cool i can't sit here and speak negatively about them but are they on this level no they're not and this is what I mean when I say mid-journey is better at understanding my needs as a prompter. If you look here, it says here white background. This is Prompt Magic version 2. There is no white background to be found here, right? And that's kind of why I like this new development of this. these AIs. They're improving. They're getting better. Um, I really like that. Now, let's go ahead and do a test here with Prompt Magic off. But we have Alchemy on. Let's go ahead and see. Now, when you see here, the cost of tokens gets cut in half. We're sitting at 18 tokens. Uh, before it was 16, now we're sitting at 8 tokens per generation. So let's go ahead and see here, and let's see what it looks like. To me, I don't really like these images. I'm just going to go ahead and delete them here, and let me get rid of them. And it looks like these are created. That's really cool. Alchemy is really cool. Now, did it fully understand what I wanted? Not exactly, because once again, it didn't include the white background. But in terms of jack-o'-lantern, it did that. Now, once again, there are ways that you should learn how to clean these certain designs up. So for me, if I was selling this on a t-shirt, I would remove this section right here, like this, uh, kind of like this looks like a rock or like some sort of mountain top kind of thing. I would get rid of this, right? And I would do like these green flames all over it, kind of like what's going on back here. Um, and I would probably get rid of this green section here. Um, and like I said, if you want to see how I would do that, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm actually going to upscale this because I'm actually going to use this for my art. I think it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead now and just for fun, turn prompt magic on, leave it on version three, but play around with the prompt magic strength, right? So 
first thing I want to do is I'm going to turn prompt magic all the way up and hit generate with this exact same generation. All right. And let's see what it looks like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn prompt magic a little bit down. And remember, when you turn it down, there's less, well, prompt magic. And if we were to define prompt magic, it says how strongly prompt magic influences the output. The higher number means greater influence. So this was at the highest level. These images right here at the highest level. Let's go ahead and leave it at 0.4 and hit generate. And remember, before it was at 0.455. So let's go ahead and also do at 0.5. So this is at the highest. This is going to be at 0.4. This is going to be at 0.5, and of course, this was at 0.55, right? Uh, so we'll go ahead and wait for that. But also, don't forget, we have contrast boost. We have resonance. These are all things that we can master and get better at when we create our generations. These are cool. I'm not going to sit and say anything negative about them as well, uh, but I feel like these are a little bit better. I don't know. Maybe it's my style. Maybe it's just my opinion. But uh, I, th I do think there's... This is a little bit cooler. I don't know. That's just me. And then, of course, I actually think these turned out better than this. So this was 0.4, and this was 0.5. So to me, it seems like the higher the prompt magic level, the better the design. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just what it seems like to me. Let's go ahead and try something interesting. Let's take one of my old prompts for one of my designs that I created in the past that I really liked, and let's turn it on with prompt magic and let's see what happens this could go really good or it could go really wrong let's see so I'm gonna go to my personal feed I'm gonna go to my upscale then I'm gonna type in the word Greek here because I created a lot of Greek God type designs and let's go with let's see here let's mimic let's see let's mimic this one you guys have actually seen me create an epic design with this exact uh, style here and I'm gonna go over here and hit remix but the difference is we got prompt magic V3 on. We got our prompt magic strength to 0.55. We got the contrast boost and the resonance set. Everything is pretty much taken care of here. So there's only one thing to do. Let's go ahead and hit generate. And let's see what comes up. Now, once again, that past design was not prompt magic. It had no prompt magic. It had no, you know, not even version two, just zero prompt magic period. And it definitely, obviously, did not have... Uh, alchemy and so you could see here my last generation i think was better i'll be 100 percent honest um i don't like it as much here this seems more like a like a kind of statue style um i could maybe see this in like a storybook of some sort this photo uh, but i would not use either one of these so are there elements in time where this uh design maybe or this style of v3 is effective Clearly. I mean, it clearly shows here. But are there elements in time where it might not be? Clearly, as well. You know, I think the past design that you guys just saw in my personal feed, when I search for the word Greek here in my upscaled section, right? Um, I think these were better. Like, if you look at the style of these, uh, maybe I might need to alter my prompt to kind of understand them more. But at the same time, I do think these look better. Now that we're here, let's go ahead and have some fun and create some cool other designs with some of the images that are already created by the community feed. So let's go ahead and take a look at something like, let's see here. Let's say, let's see, uh, there's so many options, right? Let's pick this, okay? So this is a graphic t-shirt design of an elephant with a sunset in the background, some palm trees. And let's go ahead and hit remix here. And let's just create one generation of it on with all the settings really not altered whatsoever. And then what we're gonna do is see if we can alter the prompt with it. So it says graphic t-shirt design, flat design, elephant, Miami street, colorful hues, highly detailed, clean, vector image. Okay, look at this, by the way, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and upscale this. Um, this I would not kind of use, uh, but we can actually increase the prompt. I, I just want to go ahead and increase the prompt magic and see what happens there. But it says elephant, Miami street, colorful hues, highly detailed, clean vector image, photorealistic masterpiece, uh, professional photography, realistic elephant, simple sunrise background for elephant. Um, let's go ahead and remove Miami street. All right, so there you go. These are the full prompt magic. I think 
leaving it at 0.55 might be the sweet spot. And we'll hit generate again. And we removed the, well, I left the letter T by mistake, but we did remove the Miami uh, word here. And I'm just going to generate it one more time. So we have all these generations. But if I was to edit this design, uh, the first thing I'd have to do is get rid of this extra leg here. And I would figure out, I would have to get rid of this under the trunk. And I would have to get rid, yeah, actually, yeah, that's what I would do. Get rid of that and then see how it looks. Because then it would be technically one, two, three, four legs. And then what I would have to do here is I would get rid of this hump on his back just to make it look a little cleaner. And like I said, I would show how to do that in the link in the description where I improve my, my uh, videos here. Uh, improve my AI generations. But um, these don't look bad. Okay, I think this one is a better generation. Uh, let's go ahead and view them in full size. So we have this and we have this. And if anybody's asking, I do upscale all of my designs all the time. I just think it creates a better result overall. And this is with a prompt magic of 0 0.50. Uh, so this was 0.55. This was 0 0.50. I think overall, uh, you got to test both. It's just a sweet spot in between, especially if you're going to use this for print on demand on t-shirt designs, like something like this. You can jump in edit the background, get rid of the background, place it on a t-shirt, and call it a day, right? So lots of different different cool stuff here. Um, if you want to see like a marathon video of just me creating designs, let me know. I, I really am not sure uh, about the different content that I should post. You know, when you create a thousand videos, there's a lot you, you know, we've done. Um, so, you know, we're, we, we still have a lot of content that I'm going to create, uh, but, you know, there's... I got to get some of your guys' ideas. So let me know. I'll talk to you guys in a future video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. And like I said, I'll leave the link in the description if you want to learn how to improve these AI designs uh, and really just fix them and perfect those kind of details. Because there are some things where, you know, they do need some perfecting. But overall, this is a very good sign. Um, and, you know, I'm really happy that I'm a customer for this company. I don't get sponsored. Uh, I'm not affiliated in any kind of way. I think it would be pretty cool if I was, but I'm not. And uh, they have some really cool stuff going on here. And I think uh, this is, I think Mid Journey right now is at the top of the game, but I think this is the close second. And to be 100% honest, I'd probably use this over Mid Journey. I like the fact that I can log into a, a UI and uh, interact with the UI. I know Midjourney has their own thing. I get it. I've used Midjourney. I have Midjourney. But uh, I think I like this better, honestly. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys have some constructive criticism, by the way, please leave it in the comments down below. I'm always willing to learn and get better, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. And peace out. Bye.